what's going on guys um i thought i'd do a little video on um kind of what to do or what to uh, look out for whenever you are about to go on vacation um we are finally about ready to go on vacation nothing special going over to branson missouri i forget how far it is from us eight hours something like that four hours i forget somewhere around there um i'll put it up here but we're in oklahoma and that's uh where we're going to i thought i'd do a video on kind of what to prepare your car or whatever you're driving car suv truck whatever and some things to look out for some things to do some things uh, you might want to bring with you one thing that i would suggest doing is kind of just going around your vehicle you should know your vehicle better than anybody else but um if you have like fenders or a trim or something like that that's coming out you can get some double stick tape and put that on there because you don't want to go down the road driving 70 miles an hour and the wind get in it just right and rip it off and just kind of do a visual inspection of your vehicle um, this does a couple of things one if uh, if you do have anything like that uh, you can go ahead and address the issue get that fixed uh, the other thing is if you go out to a parking lot um, and you're out of state or something like that and you come back and there's damage on your car you'll at least know it happened somewhere on vacation so whenever you turn that into insurance uh, you'll be able to recognize that um, while you're on the outside but one thing you want to look at is uh, your tires um, you want to look and make sure there's no bulges on the outside no bulges on or no bulges on the tread as well as on the side kind of take a look at your rims make sure you don't see any cracks or anything like that make sure you have good tread that's very important especially whenever it rains it gives a a place for the rain to shear off of like i said we had just replaced these so here's my truck tires let's see if we can zoom into this 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 really isn't all that bad but there's a little bit of what's called dry rot all that little cracking and stuff and hers was really bad about that and so again since we knew we were going to be going on vacation and um, the tires were getting a little bit bald where they needed to be replaced we figured now's best time to go ahead and replace them so went ahead and got tires all the way around about a month ago or so so that's one thing you want to look at while you're in here you can look at your brake your brake rotor most is most cars nowadays have disc brakes and you and this is very easy to do you can just look at this rotor that's right here this metal piece and see if there's any big grooves in there you can see a little bit of grooves but it's not it's not really bad um, if you have the squeaking brakes and all that now's a good time to go ahead and get that replaced and so you'll check all four corners as far as that goes. Um, the other thing is you'll check your air pressure because if you're going on any any kind of trip, it's good to have good air pressure. If you have too low of air pressure, it can cause extra wear on your sidewalls and that will give you a blowout as well as it'll give you bad gas mileage. So a couple things you can do to figure out what your tire pressure should be is open up your door you see right here it says 33 on the front let's see yeah front and then rear they're both 33 psi so you want to be right at 33 as close as you can get if you get one psi over or below it's not the end of the world you'll be fine so that's one place you can see it the other place would be in your uh, owner's manual so while you're visually looking on the outside of your vehicle you want to make sure that all of your lights work your brake lights all three of them if you have a third brake light um, you want to look at your tag light as well as your turning signals if you're out of state and a police officer sees that you have an out-of-state tag it's already got his attention on your vehicle so if you have a brake light or anything like that out um, it's just that much easier to see so um, besides you need it in whatever state that you're in as well as make sure that your tag is up to date. You'll also look in the front for your lights. Your headlights, make sure you have high beams, low beams, 
and your turn signals work have somebody sit in the car for you just so you can see everything this particular one I was driving behind my wife and I noticed that her brake light was up um, actually this one and that one third brake light was the only one working so it needs to be replaced anyways and it's a safety thing too and the reason why I have this all turned around is because I have to replace the brake lights uh, the other thing is so I kind of hate to admit it but this is reality with a family that's going 90 to nothing all the time as you can see we got a lot of stuff that we normally carry around with us this is what we drive around with normally because we never know what we're going to do next we're always up to something a lot of it is a spur of the moment kind of stuff have friends hey we're gonna go hang out here or let's go watch a football game or, or a baseball game or go hang over at some friend's house or something like that and we need some extra chairs so we normally keep these chairs in the back uh, especially during football season and all that so going on vacation we won't need it obviously if you're going camping or something like that you'll need that you know, that count but get rid of anything that you don't need for however much extra weight that you're carrying that you don't need brings your fuel mileage down. So again, whenever you're driving far and all that stuff, um, every little bit helps as far as saving money, not spending unnecessarily. That way you can spend more money when wherever you're at. So obviously this is summertime, so um, in the wintertime, you're gonna need extra blankets, extra coats, and blankets. Um, we might keep a light one like this, one or two of these, just in case somebody gets cold in the car with the air conditioner going or something like that. Okay, so that already looks a lot better. And I'm sure we saved a whole lot of whole lot of weight too. Now something that we have is we have a couple of emergency kits or first aid kits, whatever you want to call it. Um, and you can kind of see what we have in there. Because they don't call them emergencies for no reason, right? So this could be for us, for a friend of ours, for even if, if you run up on an accident, um, you may not know how to use any of this stuff, but maybe somebody else that's there can help use that stuff. Um, we do have a couple extra face masks. So one thing we do have is some mosquito repellent or something like that, because that no matter where we're at, we're, we're usually outdoors anyways, um, if we're not taking a walk or a small hike or something like that. So that's something that we'll, we'll keep. It's up to you if you want to take it or not. Um, so again, you, you have this that you specially made for you, like if you have extra medicine or something like that, um, be sure to keep it in there. The other thing I have is this little toolbox. It's kind of big. This came from Harbor Freight, but I think it was only like 30 bucks. And the thing is, you have most every socket that you need, a hammer, screwdrivers, uh, pliers, wrenches, Allen wrenches, um, you're not going to need that, but it's there. So uh, this is a pretty good little starter tool kit that you can keep in your vehicle. We have one for this one, we have one for mine, and we have one for the truck. So um, never know when you're going to need it. So give me a second, let me put all this back in and I'll shut it real quick. So the next time I open it up, it'll be like this again. But again, it is important to have some kind of a toolkit because yeah, hopefully all of this checking and going over the vehicle before we leave, you won't need to use any of this stuff. But life happens and it seems like it always happens when you least expect it, i.e. on a nice vacation trying to have fun. So keep, keep a small toolkit with you. Again, it may not even be for your car whenever you get to wherever you're going you may need it for something you just never know the other thing we have is we keep toilet paper because 
emergencies and you can be out on a stretch of road for 50 miles and there's nothing around and that Taco Bell is creeping up on you or something like that you got to have something so that also if you get a runny nose and you run out of Kleenexes or um, you smash a bug and you want to wipe it off or yeah whatever multiple uses so let's see in here we have a tourniquet Oops. Um, again you need to know how to use this um, if you don't know how to use it YouTube it there's lots of good videos um, and again if you have it and you come upon a scene um, maybe hopefully somebody else there will know how to use it properly so um, that's another thing actually this needs to go in here um, the other one here's another first aid kit it is just a normal store-bought first aid kit and we got a tow rope um, the other thing which I thought we had in here is jumper cables oh no 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 I'll get that here in a second so yeah that's that's this so the other thing that I would recommend having is a jump pack if you don't have a jump pack at least a set of jumper cables because um, you never know you might leave the lights on your your car might randomly have a draw and and kill your battery so you just never know um, this one's pretty neat because you got your USB you got a power adapter you have your jump starter oh, right here you got your jumper cables and it also has watch your ears an air compressor as well as a little light if you need it um, that's how you charge it I brought these in here just yesterday to charge them up and that will be going in the car but again you don't have to have this at least have some jumper cables again if not for you maybe somebody else you can help out so again you want to keep this to the bare minimum of what you need but also you don't want to sell yourself short as well I think that should cover this section of it whenever it comes to again checking out the outside of your vehicle you want to check your windshield wiper blades um, if you can do like this and tear it and it tears or you have pieces missing or something like that you need to go ahead and replace it safety you don't want to be stuck out in a storm where you can't see all right take bright lights for me they turn on hope so there's the burnt out ones you see they're all burned out. All right, here's where we are. Um, I'll probably turn this sideways, stick it over there. But that leaves the rest with all of our stuff. Um, something else you want to do is clean your vehicle. You don't have to go full detail or anything like that, but do a quick vacuum over it. That way, if you drop something on the floor, can't find it or something like that, you'll have, you can, You'll be able to quick find it quickly. Plus, I don't know about y'all, but man, I don't know about y'all, but we live in our house. We're in our cars all the time. It is just super hard to keep things clean, especially when you're on the go all the time. You got two kids and all this stuff. So whenever we finally get a chance to clean up, oh, it's so much nicer. It's like a weight's been lifted off of your shoulders. Uh, so... You want you kind of want that environment whenever you're driving so uh, yeah go ahead and do a quick clean we're not we're not detailing we're not in the Corvette we're not detailing the Corvette so um, just get it clean makes you feel better besides you might find some loose change all right let me go ahead and turn this around we'll go look in the engine bay something else I wanted to say about wear on your tires is you want to make sure if there's even wear if you have chopping usually means you need a strut or a shock or something like that if you have wear on the outside usually means your tires are towed in too much if you have wear on the inside means they're towed out too much um, if you don't need new tires go ahead and get yourself an alignment because basically your vehicle's fighting itself the whole way down the road you get worse gas mileage and um, that's not as safe it, it creates extra wear and tear on all your suspension parts so that's something else you want to do is just kind of look underneath your vehicle if you have any major leaks and I mean like while it's running it's just dripping like crazy 
go ahead and get that fixed. Just want to look underneath, see if anything's loose down there, like another little uh, air dam or a flap or anything like that. Either fix it, put zip ties on it, something like that. The other thing you can do is look at your radiator. Sometimes you'll see like big old bugs or even a, even a plastic sack or something. Plastic, a small plastic sack can get sucked up through here. And then you have your fan pulling through and it'll just suck that sack on there. And uh, that'll make you overheat. So, but yeah, just see if there's extra dirt or anything blocking your radiator. You want that clear, go all through, as well as your condenser, which is basically, that might be, let's see, hold on. Let's see, so, do you see? So, see this top one? That's your condenser. The one behind it is the radiator. Yeah, the one on top is your condenser. The one behind it's your radiator. That's also important to keep clear. Not only will it overheat your vehicle, but AC is not going to work very well. Uh, something else with your suspension. If you have serv serviceable ball joints or anything like that where you can put grease in there, go ahead and put the grease in there now. Especially on a long drive with your suspension constantly going up and down and all that stuff. So, all right. I'm going to look at your headlights. Make sure the brights and the dim work on both sides um, if you have fog lights make sure that they work too you never know if you're gonna hit fog or not important to have top off your washer fluid that's really important um, a lot of times if you hit a big old juicy bug you can use your windshield washer fluid and your wipers to wipe it off and clear it off um, before it has a chance to dry and then it gets really hard hard to get off and hard to see uh, check your coolant I'll make sure that that's at a good level and I say this part with caution this car is still kind of hot because I went to go get these light bulbs when your car is cool take off your your radiator cap look inside make sure the fluids nice and clean that's important I'm going to check your oil a lot of times it'll say oil on there if it doesn't usually usually it'll be yellow or black um, and there might be like a little oil can that looks like looks like a little oil can on there. So I'm going to check your levels I'm going to make sure it's between the full and low line and I'm glad I checked this because it looks a little bit low oh. I guess I let it sit too long. I was, I was kind of worried. Uh, nope so it's in between the low and the full you definitely don't want it higher than the full because that can blow seals you definitely don't want it lower because then you get excessive wear so we're good on this one i was uh like i said i was a little worried that's why i got some oil out i was gonna fill it up but fortunately don't need that but good to know um oil is full and that, that kind of brings us to another as far as your regular maintenance. If you're within 500 miles of getting your oil change, you have your little sticker on there, um, I would go ahead and do it. That's close enough. You want nice fresh oil on a long trip because that's a lot of miles that you'll be racking up and your car doesn't have a chance to kind of cool down between and all that stuff. Next thing to check is your brake fluid. Your brake fluid will say minimum and high or low well, kind of depending on the vehicle if it says low double check your brake pads because this is a closed system so you shouldn't be losing any fluid if you're losing fluid or it's low one you're either losing fluid which is not good check and see if you got any leaks or two your brake pads used to be that thick now they're this this thick and so it, it needs more fluid to open that up so that fluid kind of you have a fluid drop you can top it off if you want to that's that's totally up to you the other thing check your air filter let's go ahead and do that here's this air filter you can see that there's some junk inside there um, i'm just going to get an air compressor and clean this out um, it's not caked on there's like not oil or anything like that or it's been wet muddy anything like that so i'm going to clear this out want to get a new air filter totally up to you but this will give you some good gas mileage if if it's all clogged up again this isn't bad at all but again if we're going on a vacation 
and a long trip. And you can simply do this by vacuum cleaner if you want to. If you're going to blow this out, blow it from this side going outward. You're going to blow it from the opposite direction. Another thing you want to check is your battery. So this is a fairly new battery. Um, I don't have any corrosion or anything like that on here. I'm going to open up both sides just to verify, just to make sure. Then the other thing is with your windshield washer fluid, again, check your wiper blades. I am a firm believer in the rain -X. It lasts for a few months, uh, probably, I don't know, four months or so, kind of depending. And if you're driving down the highway, as long, at least for us in my car, if I'm driving over 40 miles an hour, I don't need the wiper blades because it just beads off and rolls off. Now I've heard that you can wax your windshield and it'll do the same thing, but easy application, wipe it on, pull it off. All right, you'll have to bear with me for a little bit because it's hot, you got the air, air conditioner going. Before you start your car, you can probably see the warning indicator lights. Those should be off when, before you start the car. Yeah, see, it's 93 degrees outside. And it's 730. You know, you want to make sure that, that you don't have any kind of lights on. I know a lot of people drive, drive around with a check engine light. Um, it drives me crazy, but that's personally me. You do what you want to. Uh, at bare minimum, at least go and check and find out what that check engine light is. Because if you don't know what it is, it could be something as easy as you forgot to tighten the gas cap and then you don't have to worry about it. And if it pops on while you're driving down the road, you know there's an issue with something. The other thing, now this drives me crazy. <laughs> um, and I've done it before, I'm not, I'm not perfect, but I, I typically don't let my gas go below a quarter of a tank, maybe an eighth of a tank. I know people that get down on that E and they, they're just driving off of fumes. If that's you, good, good for you. I, I don't do it because a couple things. One, your gasoline is actually a coolant for your fuel pump. It's also a lubricant. So if you keep running your fuel down to empty, there's not a lot of fuel that's in there and it can't cool and lubricate your fuel pump as easily. And you can have premature wear. So I always fill up about a quarter of a tank, maybe an eighth of a tank, something like that. Again, that's, that's up to you. And quick tip, if uh, you look on here, you see the little gas tank, you see the arrow that's coming this way, you know that the gas fill up is on this side so if you're renting a vehicle or something like that and you don't remember look up there it'll tell you or if there's a, uh, a gas pump handle if it's facing this way or the other way um, it's pointing towards where the gas tank is so uh, just a quick tip now obviously you want to clean your windshield inside and outside just for visibility uh, make sure you have your sunglasses you gotta have your tunes um, chargers all kinds of stuff make sure you have your license registration whatever if you're going out of state uh, find out what their state what the state law is especially with me I uh, I carry all the time with me I'm a concealed carry license holder and so there's different laws for different states uh, so keep that in mind um, I'll show you in, in my car now with my car um, Hand sanitizer is good to have. All right, we'll put we'll put a bottle in her car as well. But as you can see, I have a holster right down here. Uh, if you've seen any of my videos, you'll know how to install that. But um, again, check with the local laws of the of the state you're going into to find out what their laws are. Not only for concealed carry, but just in general what their what their laws are, so you don't get in trouble. The other thing that I've done is I've added um, auxiliary ports. Uh, with a USB. If you don't have friends or family in the car, bring that. Kind of fun. You can do that hands free. I've also added that port back there for the kids. Now, back here you can see up there that's the uh, the toolbox that we got. Uh, I have my own business, so I have different brochures and all that stuff. So that'll that'll be going out and then underneath here. All right. So here's what I got in mind. Um, that right there is just a jump starter and we also have our cables which are really long 
um, got an emergency kit as well now these if you have girlfriend wife friend whatever it's good to have just some little backups just in case a lot of guys freak out and are grossed out about it but hey it's life I understand um, do have a little inverter if we need that for whatever reason a lot of cars nowadays don't have a spare tire they have like this one is supposed to be an air compressor and i think it has some tire slime or something like that in there what if you have a blowout that's not going to do anything so always check your tires before you take off all right guys well, that's kind of all i got for you um again you want to make the vacation just as fun as possible with as little problems or issues as possible so you can keep your mind on having fun making memories uh, if you got any questions or concerns put them down in the comments as well as if you have any other tips um, what you guys bring with you uh, put them down in the comments as well be interested to know all right i'll put some uh, links in the description below it's an affiliate link so it does kind of help out the channel it doesn't cost you anything extra it's the exact same price you would pay if you bought it off of your amazon account so oh uh, one more thing if you have another set of keys um, it'd be important to take that as well having another set of keys 400 miles from home is not going to do do much good so you can take one with you they have the little magnetic key holders you can put underneath the cars you can put your uh, your key fob in and put that on the frame that are, are really good uh, you can zip tie it to the frame on top of that just for a little added security and then just use a knife to to get it if you need it because it's always easier to make another set of keys with a good set of keys um, than have to call a locksmith and put a damper on your on your day so uh, that's my last tip for you all right guys so basically the only thing we got left to do is just vacuum it out we're going to wash the outside and that'll be all we need to do and then load up head out so y'all comment right we'll talk to you later see ya This came from Harbor Freight, but I think it was only like 30 bucks. And the thing is, is that it's a mess. <laughs> Can never get those tools to stay in there where I need it.